What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Planet Walkthrough. Okay, so, you know, in the last episode, we went through Route 223 all the way to whatever route we are in, and now we're going to be going into the next area right here. And that is, I do not know. Let's see, let's talk to this one. A strong but solidary presence, or a weak mass together. Who could say which is better? I could say both, I guess? I've been wondering about this, but no one can tell me. Why doesn't anyone study the, the molting of Pokemon? I think there would be a lot that you could tell from their molds. Well, it is true. So, here we are in Route 226. Now, there are two ways around this place, and before we even hit Stark Mountain, I think that's what it's named, we're going to be going a full circle around this area, and I did bring in some other Pokemon. So now, we brought in three from our Sinnoh team. We got Leonardo on, on, on standby, and then we got Smoke, and then Sage of the Halo. What we're trying to do is we're just trying to figure out which Pokemon would be would be good to actually use to for our final team when we go up against the Elite Four. And uh, well, let's see. So far, so far, I'm I'm starting to get an idea of what I want, and it's looking pretty good because you know right here you can actually train your Pokemon, especially with uh, what was it called? Uh, you can train the Pokemon with the the VS Seeker now. Here we are going into Route 227. That is not where I want to go right now. So what we need to do is we're going to surf our way, and of course we have to teach we have to teach uh, Blastoise or Leonardo uh, surf because well we did delete it going into Pokemon Fire Red and all that stuff before the migration. So let's go right ahead and surf our way around here. And from what I remember, this. This island right here is the dreaded island where you could uh, freeze yourself. This right here is, hey, konnichiwa, glad to meet you, guten tag. I'm the Meister. This, and this is the language per lance. I would uh, be called a craftsman. Something like that. And then he's, of course, talking in different languages. And, of course, he's a lover of Pokemon just like me. This is a wonder bowl. So this is what I will do. I will power up your Pokedex so you can read the descriptions of Pokemon in other languages. And this is kind of getting annoying because he's like talking in different languages, but please fix up my my stuff and Well, let's see if you have a Pokemon named Finian She Pokemon fish style if you will be so kind to trade it for my precious magic carp now this is I Have seen so I have seen a lot of theory videos about this island Where if you had a Finian and it's only a like if you it's the only Pokemon on your team that could surf, and you trade it, you would be trapped here forever, and of course, I do not have that, but yes, um, that that was the theory right there, and it has been proven that you can be trapped here forever, and uh, well, that's not going to happen now, because well, shoot, um, I'm trying to win, I'm trying to get out of here, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be battling a whole bunch of trainers with our Pokemon, you know, Sage of the Halo included, level 63. And here comes a Spiel, so let's go right ahead and go with Togepri and give it a little love since, you know, it is a Pokemon League Champion. And, well, here comes the Aurora Sphere for the win. And that right there takes us to Whalmer. So let's go right ahead and use Smoke. And look at this, we're using Smoke for the first time, and yeah, Hydro Pump does not do the trick. So here we go, Shadow Ball for the win. And now we are in an area where we need to actually use Rock Climb, so let's see. Who's going to take the fall right here? And it looks like to me that I could teach Leonardo that, so we don't have to worry about Waterfall for right now. And let's go right ahead and see what we can actually find. Let's go ahead and take a look at the item finder. And of course, we we now have uh, we now have more apps because, uh, what was it? Oh wow, there's three items around here, okay. So if I go one step right here, Let's see, I'm just taking a few steps, and here we found ourselves a big mushroom. That's always nice to have, and let's see, there we go, a tiny mushroom. So that's two things, and well, let's see, one's down the area right here. And here we found ourselves a PP Max, which of course maximizes, <laughs> giggity, it uh, maxes out your PPs. <laughs> your peepees oh my god dirty words anywho let's go right here and it looks like to me there might be a hidden item right here somewhere yes there is 
and we found ourselves another hard scale which we can actually use to teach any of our Pokemon uh, different moves or moves that it has already learned so let's go right ahead and just continue our adventure right here and battling everybody alrighty so we got a double battle going on right here so let's see let's go with uh, Togepi and Toothless and let's go right ahead and just beat everybody to a bloody pulp. So here we have a Dragon Trainer and a Firo, and it looks like to me, Crap Baskets, they figured me out. So let's go with this guy, and let's go with Dragon Rush on this guy, and there we go. And here goes a Flamethrower, and that right there will increase its speed. So let's go with the Dragon Rush again. And just like that, we defeated that guy, defeated that guy. And Shadow Ball to this guy, and let's go with, not with the Dragon Rush, but a Crunch. And there we go. Teamwork makes the teamwork, or the dream work, and, well, see what, we, what else we can actually find. There will be a lot of hidden items, guys. Keep an eye out for that. And here we found ourselves the TM53 Energy Ball, which is a very, very good move. I mean, it, got, it was used against me, again, when, when I was facing Cynthia. And here we found ourselves a lagging tail, another strategic uh, item that you can use for, you know, any kind of competitive play. And I pretty much said this a few episodes ago that, yeah, I'm not much of a competitive player. I've seen the dedication some of these kids have, especially when this game is just growing like crazy. Different movesets, different uh, abilities, different items. You really have to be the jack of all trades in order to just be a world-class you know, a trainer, competitive player and all that stuff. So, yeah, for me, I don't really have all that time in the world. So that's pretty much my reason to why I don't competitive play because god dang. Play. But I do learn, I do learn quite a few moves or I do learn quite a few strategies going into, you know, by just looking on YouTube. He always finds it, like I always find the reels and all that stuff. So pretty good stuff right there. And here we found ourselves more berries. A Quillot berry. And po Meg Berry. And here we have another po Meg Berry. And let me guess. A Qualop Berry, yes. Okay. Anywho. Let us continue going down. And let's go again. And here we are. Let's see. What are we looking at right here? The Rocky Climb. And right here, we're going to be going into the survival area. This place is special because you will be finding a place where you can actually battle rematch the gym leaders. And... He's like, if you share your shards with me, I can teach some moves. Would you like to share? Okay, share my shards. And let's go with Gaia here, and which move should be taught. So as you guys can see, Gaia can learn Mud Slap or Signal Beam. Let me see... Let me see what uh, my other Pokemon can learn. Let's go with... Let's go with Sage. And Sage can learn Mud Slap, Endeavor, Endeavor I should say, Outrage, and Seed Bomb. Okay, so... These are some pretty awesome moves that we can actually we can actually use. Holy crud. Okay, so how about a Pokemon like Toothless? And this Pokemon can learn Mud Slap, Iron Head, Aqua Tail, Outrage, and oh wow, okay, so you can learn quite a few moves right here. Let me see what this this book says. Let's see. Wow, seriously, I don't want to talk to you, man. Okay, shards emphasize, red shards emphasize power, blue shards are for special effects, yellows are for status problems, red shards are what I like, and right now, he's looking at everything, and, uh, so as you guys can see, these are the moves that he will be able to teach your Pokemon. You got Heat Wave, Balance, Iron Head, Sea Bomb, Twister, Gunk Shot, Earth, uh, Earth Power, Signal Beam, Ancient Power, Outrage, Ende Endeavor, Gastro Acid, Aqua Head, or Aqua Tail, Iron Head, Super Power, Roll Out, and Mud Slap. So these are very strategic moves that, yeah, you can use for, you know, later date and stuff. And here we found ourselves a Red Shard, which will help us out in the long run here too. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go back right here because... We gotta check out the map. So, let's see, where are we in this map area? So it looks like we're going into the survival area, and this right here is home to quite a few things, including, uh, let's see, what is this? The staging points, I could be wrong. Route 225 is right here, but we gotta go to the route to this area here first. Now, let's see. There might be something right here that we can actually 
grab or something. Now, if you talk to this guy, there's a move that doubles in power if a Pokemon using is poison, paralyze, or burn. I've got that technical machine for right, uh, it, right here. You want it? Sure. We get ourselves the TM42, which is Endeavor. Actually, it's Facade. And this move is very very powerful when you're when you're like when you have status effects and all that stuff on you so let's see before we go there because it, it forced me to go there let's go right here into the well we can't go in here the door is shut tight members only is painted on and that is for gym leaders so what's going to happen now guys to finish off this whole thing i am going to switch out some pokemon and grab some of my other you know regional pokemon right here so i'll be right back with you guys Alrighty, guys so here we are back and well i brought in the original three from kanto so now i have the full team of kanto here with me ready to go and kick some butt and take some names obviously i taught uh what's her face uh Vero how to how to fly because well you know the whole situation over with the pal park and well we're gonna be battling this guy with our big booty butt kiss he does have aerial ace and well let's see it's a good move oh yeah you know what let's go right ahead and switch it out to tornado and yes we did not we did not get affected by this so let's go with a drill peck and you know, just battling these guys is totally unfair just because our Pokemon are at level 70s. And this is uh, this is probably the reason why I, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should go... Maybe I should go 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. That way, it, it actually, like, you know, it's actually fair when it comes to battling the Elite Four yet again. Now I got a little bit more in the arsenal, and I don't have to worry about, like, type disadvantages and all that stuff. And crap baskets. Okay, so... I thought this would happen. Let's see, do I have a Pokemon that needs cuts? And it looks like Smash is the only one that le knows how to learn a uh, cut. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to save that for later on. Yeah, I don't wanna... I, I, I really don't want to uh, delete any moves right here. So, we're gonna have to wait for that and just battle anybody we see around here. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle this girl. And she's going to be coming out with a Flappy. Let's go with a Flamethrower attack from Big Booty Butt Kiss. And here comes Tropius. So we know the word. And there we go. Tropius defeated. Man, I am actually glad I actually migrated my Pokemon. Holy crud. Okay, so let's see. Going down right here. Going the opposite way. And let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's see who hasn't made their debut. Let's go with Shocker right here. Kind of have a feeling this Pokemon here might have a water type. Could, yeah, that's a big mistake right there. So let's go with Iron Tail. And Sword Stance gonna be doing nothing right here because he's coming out with a Lantern. Let's go straight for Smasher right here. And it looks like to me that I have every, every single one of my Pokemon has made their debut, which is pretty cool. And well, let's go ahead and surf our way right here. And it looks like there is another item right there. Cool. And here we have the dubious disc, which if you guys have a Porygon, what was it? Porygon 2, you can also use the dubious disc to evolve the Pokemon or uh, Porygon X or Porygon uh, 2 to Porygon XY, I believe, or Z or whatever. Porygon Z. And here we have this person. Isn't it hot at the battle zone? Why not let your Pokemon drink this? And here we get ourselves a water or fresh water. Which is great because, well, it does it does heal up your Pokemon quite a bit. And, well, here we are taking on some more Pokemon trainers. And she is coming out with a Star... Or he's coming out with a Starmie, so... Yes! Thank you, Arceus. And, well, he's coming out with a Bivabra. Bivabra. And, again, totally unfair me using level 70 Pokemon against these guys. But, like I said, it was so easy. Like, everything is so easy right now. Which is... Kind of like, you know, kind of sucked it away because it's like, it, it almost takes the fun out of it. But then again, it's like, okay, you know, I would rather do it right here because this this area right here in general is not one of my favorite ones. So here we go with the Dawn Fan. Let's go with the Surf Attack. And just like that, we defeated that. And well, let's go straight to Shocker yet again and go with a Thunder Attack. And there we go. Just like that, we win again. And... Let's not do that. Battle some Pokemon. Here we have Graveler. And, well, let's see. 
go with the max repel right here again. And let's get the heck out of here. Now there's an open spot right there. There's nothing. And I do see quite a few areas where you can actually grab some items right there. So I might have to be, I might have to like fast forward and actually grab these items later on, guys. And well, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so they, they, they literally made this into a like a, a puzzle right here. And well, either way, we're gonna have a double battle. So here we have a Lanoon and a Swellow or te a Taylo. And well, let's go with that. And why did I do that? Oh, because I, I felt. Because I wanted to defeat him. Okay, so let's go with a Thunderbolt to this guy. And Rock Slide to that guy. And there we go. Smoke grows to level 73. And here comes Arbok. And well, let's go with a Thunderbolt. And let's go with another rock slide right there. And just like that, Shocker grows to level 78. And believe it or not, this Pokemon is our, yeah, it is our strongest Pokemon ever. So I'm going to switch out Thunder just for this. I have Thunder again, and you can actually buy Thunder whenever you want, so it's no biggie. So let's go with that, and let's go with a Body Slam onto this guy right here. And just like that, we defeat everybody. Holy crud. Okay, so I didn't even know that Shocker uh, learned Discharge at level 78. Yeah, there, that's just an in-game stuff. So let's go with Tornado right here and see what this lady has. And, well, she's coming out with a Slowpoke. I'm going to go with the Drill Peck. And just like that, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. And, wow, Tornado, you are kicking some butt right here. Okay. So let's see, let's go ahead and surf our way right here. And what else do we have? Quite a few items. <laughs> okay, so before we do anything, let's go right here. And this looks like, wow, it's like, wow, it's, it's getting me all confused and everything. So let's go ahead and do this. And here we found ourselves a big mushroom. So before we do anything, let's go straight back and, and see what this whole other area is all about. I mean, you can't you can't be too sure. You can't ever be too sure, I should say. And well, let's go here. And there is there there are those people right there, so probably should have gone right here. And grab this little item. Here we found ourselves the HP up. And well, let's see. Let's see. Let's go right here. Already been right here. God dang, I'm like going in circles. God dang. And Rappel has worn off. So let's go with that. And let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit right here. See, again, speed button always works. Love it. Makes this go faster. And, well, let's see. Right here. And we've already battled that trainer? Okay. And wow. Okay, so I think we've already been here. God dang it. Okay, so where the hell did we go? Okay, so let's see. Oh, shoot. That's where we should have gone. Okay, so we were literally going around in circles. God dang it. Okay, so let's go right back. And uh, let's go right back. No wonder I was getting dizzy. Okay, so right here. Right here and down here. Okay, so look at that. We are safe. We are finally here. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are in the fight area, and I think this is the guy that gives you, yeah, he gives you a super rod. So there it is. Got ourselves a super rod. That actually works. And, uh, well, there is one more thing that we need to do. So I'm going to be right back with you guys. I don't want to finish this episode without doing this, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we got ourselves Sage of the Halo just so we can cut a few trees and grab ourselves a few items like you see like you guys can see right here We got ourselves a rare candy and I'm just gonna be going fab like I'm gonna go in speed version because it's like okay Seriously, why do we need to battle everybody? Um, another thing too in the next episode I believe we're gonna be going into the Stark Mountain I think that's what it was called and that right there. We're gonna it's another challenge in itself and it looks like to me I'm gonna be using a mixture of both Hoenn and J Hoenn and uh, Sinnoh Pokemon. That way, I can level them up and see who can take it. Who is ready to to challenge everybody? And there is an item right there that oh crap, baskets. Okay, 
I will get there eventually. <laughs> I will, uh, yeah, I will eventually get there, but you guys already know what I mean. And there is the other item. And bam, we got ourselves a lax incense, which you can use to breed a Snorlax for a Munchlax. Believe it or not, it's just a weird way of like breeding Pokemon right here. And well, here we have another, another Machoke. And well, let's see, here we have a shortcut. And might as you might as well just use a freaking repel too, because goddamn. All right, so here we go. Repel for the win, and here we found ourselves some more candies, or more berries, and, well, there we go. What's another thing that I needed to say? Oh, yes. Uh, after that, after that, we're going to get to the event Pokemon, too, because there are quite a few events. There's a Cresselia event, Darkrai event. There's also, I believe, let's see, Cresselia... There's a Cresselia event, Darkrai event, Arceus for, like, you know, Arceus is the, the, Arceus is gonna be the last one, the, the last Pokemon, or the last Legendary I'm gonna try and capture. You got the three Legendary birds right here, and, well, let's go right and grab this right here, so let's go Rock Climb, and what do we find right here? A Razor Fang, which can be used to evolve a specific Pokemon. So there we go, and I believe that's all the items. So, like I was saying, guys, to finish up this whole walkthrough, we're gonna we're gonna be going after every single legendary Pokemon. So the events are as followed: you got Cresselia, you got Darkrai, you got Arceus, you got the Reggie's event, and then as far as like in-game legendaries too, you got uh, what was it? Uh, Pokemon at Stark Mountain, I believe. Three legendary birds. And then... So that's like seven things right there. Oh, yeah. And then Shaman. The Manaphy event. So that's nine. And I believe that I'm going to like mix them all in one episode. And then you got the Pokemon League itself. So that's like ten episodes, maybe. I could be wrong. And then you got the legendary... Or you got the gym leader rematches which of course i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be mixing it up with all the pokemon that i have right here so yeah we got plenty of material ready to go we're almost done with this walkthrough right here guys and then uh you know hopefully within a week or so we're gonna we're gonna definitely start seeing pokemon white 2 again i mentioned this in the last few episodes but yes i do have an extra five episodes that i did not upload a few years back or a year back so once those start reappearing, we're going to get back into the Unova region and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. See you guys.